Hey guys, it's Claire and this is 14 things you need for your next music festival. This year has been kind of crazy and due to COVID, most festivals have been pushed back to this fall, which means everything is back to back and super compact. That being said, if you're trying to hit up a lot of your, your favorite festivals, you're already spending a lot on tickets and you don't want to blow the budget on accessories and other things you need, especially if this is your first year and you're just trying to wild out. So. Um, this is a list for people who just generally want to enjoy the festival and not get super into alcohol or any other substances that you choose to put into your body. So I'm not going to put any Pedialyte or any of that type of stuff, but I can do a different video on that if you guys would like. Without further ado, we're, let's get into it. The first thing we have is a clear backpack. This one is a little bit cloudy, but um, in the past few years, safety has become an exponentially important thing for large events and so clear backpacks are the way to go. Um, this one is actually a diaper bag that I found on Amazon. Most clear backpacks are really thin and break very easily, but this, because it's a diaper bag, is very, very durable. Um, it's probably about a fourth of an inch thick and it does have a little bit of weight to it, but nothing crazy. Um, it served me through many a day and is one of the best items I think I've found. And I'll link to this down below if I can still find it. The next thing I have is bandanas. Before COVID, um, covering your face wasn't really as big of a thing, but at festivals it gets very, very dusty, and especially if you're working them all day, there's a lot of um, dirt paths around and your nose is just black at the end of the day. So having bandanas to cover your face, just like we've been doing with a few layers, is really great, but instead of just using them as a face mask as well, you can use them to um, wave down your friends, wear them as a headband, or just accessorize your outfit for the day. Um, I usually bring five or six just because they get really dirty and you can't really wash your stuff as easily. And also they're super easy to slip into a backpack and just use as a wet rag. The next item I have are some fun pairs of sunglasses. Pair them with any bandana and you have some great pops of color to jeans and a t-shirt. I live in the south and so I tend to go to more festivals in the south and those are not the places to dress up in high fashion just because it's so hot that jeans and a t-shirt, as minimal clothing as possible while still being covered is just the best way to go. Um, I think I found these ones at the dollar store and they're my favorite. Um, and then I got these specifically for wearing in 2020 and never got to do so. So I'm really excited to bring them out this fall. So similarly, the next item are some super fun and funky headbands. Um, these I found on Amazon after my niece's birthday party. I just fell in love with them and had to get an entire pack for myself. Um, I actually got one of these taken from me at a festival because I needed to get through a line faster and um, some, someone said like if you give me your headband I'll let you through. So I did that and then bought the pack. Um, and then I also have these super fun flower ones that I got at Mardi Gras. Um, but like the sunglasses and bandanas, quick, easy, light, and just add a bunch of flair and cute personality to whatever you're wearing. So the next item is a scarf shawl or tapestry. I just have a scarf here. Um, a scarf is typically going to be your lightest option for carrying on your pack all day, but the reason why this is so important is because you can use this as a top, as just a general shawl to keep your shoulders out of the sun or at night just for a little warmth, and also to sit on during the day if you find yourself in a spot where you don't exactly want to be touching the ground or who knows what's under you. Um, so just a really great thing to keep on hand. Um, tapestries are a bit bigger, as you guys know, so I would recommend those more for a group if someone's like your designated backpack carrier and you switched around throughout the day so you're sharing the load. They also take up tend to take more room in a backpack, so if you're just by yourself and you don't want to be carrying more weight, then that's a great option. Um, this scarf is 48 by 48 inches, so it's a fairly decently sized one, so that's a really great size just as a general rule. So the next item is a very lightweight shirt. This is a cottony denim shirt, and I think it's a Target brand. Um, I've worn this for many festivals, and it's been torn and painted on, and it's my designated muck running around shirt. Um, but it's just really great because it is so hot, and this is so thin that it keeps the sun off my shoulders, but I never really get sweaty in it. Um, it's also just a basic neutral, so um, it really goes with everything. I'm not too worried about style, but you can still look cute. It is um, a little oversized. I wouldn't go with anything too fitted just for the sweat factor. So the next things that we have are just two pairs of shoes. Um, sandals, when it's hot out, obviously makes sense, right? 
but if you wear flip-flops at a big music festival, you're going to get blisters, you're going to be angry, and you're going to hate everyone, and everyone's going to hate you. So instead, I would opt for going with sandals with straps that keep your feet secure. Um, these are a pair of Chacos. These ones were limited edition, so the soles are a lot thinner. I don't think they still make these, but any pair of Chacos, Tevas, whatever works for you is the way to go. Um, mind you, if you do wear sandals, please put sunscreen on your feet. You will forget, and that's painful and itchy and annoying. Also, be mindful of your toes being stepped on. If you're in the pit or just running around in general, that can be really painful, especially after four days of doing so. These also don't have ankle support, obviously, um, which if you're doing a lot of, just depending on your festival style, that can be really important. Um, I was working a festival one year and actually sprained my ankle the day before the festival started and didn't really have any super supportive shoes and I really wish I did. So that brings me to the, my next item and that is a pair of supportive boots. These are Doc Martin women's polycomb tech boots in black. They also come in a few other colors like teal, white, and gray and they also make men's as well. Um, I really like these. They're supportive, they're lightweight, and they're weatherproof. Um, so I don't have to worry about ring boots and they're very comfortable. It took me like two or three wears to break them in These are great because like I said, they are supportive. They're not hot. They're not heavy and they go with pretty much everything um, If I had fallen fallen in that hole, I and where had worn these I probably wouldn't have sprayed my ankle um, but also what you guys probably haven't been paying attention to if you're not in the music industry is almost everyone who works music festivals or just live events in general they wear boots and hiking boots of some sort um, because they are on your their feet all day even more than you guys are so invest in a pair these were ninety dollars i think but they're definitely worth it if you go to more than one festival so the next few items are sunscreen and aloe sunscreen obviously a must i don't feel like i need to explain this Use reef, um, safe sunscreen if you can. I tried, and I do it sometimes, but for festivals, it's just not super great because um, it just takes so long to rub on, and if you're running around, sometimes you just don't want to have the time for that. That being said, um, if you don't want to lug around an entire bottle of um, sunscreen all day, especially if you're not with a group and you're not the designated backpack carrier, getting some little um, silicone travel um, bottles is really helpful because you can just leave this at your campsite, fill this up for the day, and then go out without having to carry that extra weight. Following up with that, bring some aloe. More likely than not, you're going to get sunburned, and even if you don't, you're going to get dried out, so coming back at night, putting on some aloe, and just cooling yourself down is great. It's great for your skin, and you're just going to feel a lot better. My favorite item on this list is this portable solar charger. So this is a little bit heavier because it is solar. Um, it has this thick back panel which has all the battery components in and then the other panels that help charge it. Plug this in and charge it before you go. It takes, it does take an entire day to charge, just to be mindful. Um, but then once you're off the grid, you can just hang this on your backpack, your tent, your car, wherever, and charge it throughout the day. I hung this on my backpack and took it with me um, throughout the entirety of working seven days and then a four-day festival and it did not die until the last day. I charged my phone on this every single day as well as several other people's phones so in total it was probably about 20 to 25 charges and it was fantastic. So the next item is a lightweight hammock or Eno. This is a knockoff one um, but they're really great for portability. Instead of bringing an entire tent with you just bring your hammock and set it up super quick super easy. Uh, the only thing is that a lot of festival grounds, um, you don't really tend to have trees, so obviously be mindful about um, the probability of if you will get tree camping or not. The other thing is that my Eno, personally, or my hammock, um, can fold out to be a blanket, a blanket or a changing station, so you can bring that as well during the day instead of bringing an entire tapestry with you. For one of the last few items, it is a wind pouch. Um, if you guys don't really know what that is, look up Bilbo Swaggins and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't have it with me because it is currently in my car, um, but I would recommend this especially for if you're with a group. It is a little bit of a bulkier item, so it's usually a designated to a person to carry it and then move it around the group during the day. But basically you can run around with it, fill it up with air, and then use it as a couch or like a little bed during the day. So my group took many naps on it and it was wonderful. Um, mine also doubles as a floaty for a pool or a lake, 
So um, I think mine was about $100, but you can find cheaper options for like 20 if you're just looking for something that's a little more um, utilitarian. As simple as it sounds, having a carabiner or a couple of them is going to be incredibly important when you're out in the field. I bring a whole bag of carabiners and use them for absolutely everything. You can hang stuff from trees if you're in the type of campground, from your tent, from your car, from your backpack. It doesn't matter. They're just really great and you never know when you'll need them and when um, they'll come in handy. I use them in far more creative ways than one would typically think. If you don't want to bust out a ton of dollars on getting some nice carabiners, you can also just use binder clips that you used to get in middle school. Those work just as well for lighter items. The last item to bring is a portable camping fan. I personally recommend, recommend a rechargeable one. I don't have one on hand because mine broke a few years ago and I've just been borrowing friends ever since, but I highly, highly recommend you have one. A lot of the time you're going to be camping in a field or some space that you're not getting a lot of shade. So the sun's gonna be coming in all day and it's just gonna be heating up your area. And so having a fan in that space to help push that hot air out and to help regulate your body temperature is going to make you a much happier person in general. Um, and also it's great to share the love around with your crew. And if a bunch of you guys have fans, then your entire space can just be pimped out and you can have tapestries and things are flowing and you'll just have your little bohemian paradise in a field and it'll be great. So this was my 14 general things to bring with you for your next music festival. And this is great for both beginners and music festival alums alike. I would love to hear what you guys are bringing and keep the conversation going below in the comments. Can't wait to see you guys out there. Bye.